Hi, my name is Jason Frutos. I am from Edith Cowan University, and my fame lab presentation is called Outrun Alzheimer's Disease. I'm keenly aware that at this moment, you're waiting for me to share something with you. However, I would like to switch things around at this point and ask you to do something for me instead. Could you please close your eyes? Are they closed? Perfect. Now, I would like you to focus for a moment on the memory of the last time that you had the loved one. Or the look on your mother's face when she kept you getting into trouble when you were young. Or maybe think of that place where you have always found shelter. Easy, right? Please open your eyes. Unfortunately, in Europe, 35 million people can no longer enjoy those memories. Every single minute, one new case of Alzheimer's disease is diagnosed in the United States, and by 2050, we will exceed 100 million cases worldwide. Here in Australia alone, nearly 40 people die every day from dementia. Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that destroys neural connections. It does this silently, slowly wiping away everything we are and everything we've been, everything we know, and everything we wish we knew. Alzheimer's does not understand emotional ties. It doesn't know how important it is to take that medication or not to leave the stove on. And it has never experienced that terrifying feeling of not finding your way back home. Despite the tireless efforts of thousands of scientists globally, we have not found a cure yet. But there is something that can be done. What if I tell you that there is one thing that each and every one of us could do starting today to delay its onset and reduce its symptoms. What if I tell you that this one element would also improve your mood, reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, and enhance your cognition? And best of all, that it was for free. If this was a pill that I was offering you, couldn't you take it? My research applies new imaging techniques to study the effects that physical activity has on the brain of healthy older adults who are at genetic risk for Alzheimer's disease. My goal is to understand who would benefit more from what type of exercise, how often, how intense, for how long. I cannot tell you in just a few minutes how all these variables affect the structure and functioning of the brain, but I can tell you one thing. There are no contraindications to a moderately active lifestyle, and although the earlier the better, it's never too late to start being active. So tie up your shoelaces and walk, play, train, dance, Move towards outrunning Alzheimer's disease so that you can enjoy and build upon every memory. Thank you.